Ngomo, where the MEC of Transport and Community Safety, Peggy Ngonyen, has visited the family of Kulu, who lost about six family members in a tragic accident earlier this week. I want to speak to the MEC now about her visit. MEC Ngonyen, thank you for joining me. There's never right words to say when to a family when a tragedy like this happens, but you felt the need to come all the way here. What was your message to the Kulu family in this difficult time? We are here at Wanongoma, where this family, Mshongo family, has actually lost about, uh, actually lost six members. So we wanted to express our heartfelt condolences to the family. That's what we, we have done uh, right now. Indeed, uh, there are no appropriate ways, you know, to uh, to express, you know, your, your heartfelt condolences when um, a family has lost so many members. So it's it's a very difficult uh, moment for this family. But uh, nevertheless, we have identified challenges um, in the road where the accident had happened. And as the Department of Transport, we are going to be intervening uh, with regards to ensuring that uh, uh, such uh, tra tragedy does not happen again in that particular road. Let me see, when you talk of that also, it brings into the question the road carnages that we see on our roads. I mean, just after Easter and we're expecting numbers to be announced nationally, but provincially too, it's a worry, isn't it, that fatalities continue to happen on our roads? We are very worried as the provincial government of KwaZulu Natal. Uh, our last count uh, during the Easter weekend was 47, but just a day after uh, we uh, learned about this uh, particular accident. So it became very, very uh, uh, painful for us as the province of KwaZulu Natal because we were thinking that at least uh, uh, there was, uh, we didn't have that uh, high number of fatalities, although. Uh, one uh, uh, death is one too many all the time. So we had, um, our last count was 47, uh, which we really attributed to a number of, um, of, of um, uh, reasons like uh, recklessness on the road, uh, in increase of the regulated speed limit, drunk, uh, 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 drink and driving, you know, so it's, it's very, very difficult for us as the province of Fazi Natal, but um, we are saying uh, there's nothing insurmountable. We will try by all means to deal uh, with such issues. Thank you, MC Ngonyen, for joining us here on Newsroom Africa. That's MC Ngonyen here, who is the Transport and Community Safety in Kwazulu Natal, basically giving us her take as to what causes road carnages, whether it's speeding, whether it's drunken driving, whether it's recklessness. And she was talking here that Kwanongom, when she visited a family who lost about six family members in a tragic accident that claims 10 lives on Tuesday. For News of Africa on Channel 405, I'm Bongad Lulane in Kwanongom in KwaZulu Natal.